good morning, good afternoon, and good night, people of YouTube. It's a point once one time, okay? Um, just have a couple of dates, a couple of runs that needs to take place with um, what is happening in the gaming industry of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, first to begin with, um, as you can see, um, my JDF Enterprise uh, page has been tampered with and I was de um, demoted as an editor. I don't know who I've done it, but I did think it as an editor. So the only thing I could have possibly done was basically um, remove my pics and my videos and my statuses of that page and edit the header saying to report the page because you know it's um what you say ha excuse me. <coughs> excuse me thank you um yeah so the only thing I can really tell everybody uh, the only thing I can really tell everybody to do is basically um report the page let them, you know, it's been hacked. Um, it's on pub uh, um, for Facebook to unpublish it because I do not have full authority of um, unpublishing the said um, page. Anyhow, next thing as well, there will be a change in my phone number. You know, the six eight six seven nine seven three. Only for this week, I will have it online for a little while. Um, Gigi, in fact, I want to do some changes to the set shop, you know, want to do a whole new revamp. It's been years I have that number, and it's time that I change a little bit, you know. Um, the new number will be 319-6957. Let me repeat that number. 319-6957. You can also add me on WhatsApp as well, and we'll be able to contact, we we'll be able to talk with you and keep you in contact as soon as possible, right? Concerning modification, repairs, and whatnot, right? Um, I want to just talk a little bit concerning of what is taking place in the gaming industry and whatnot. Um, now, as you all know. I've been claiming it so far and I'm very very proud is that you know I am the first to, to perform the Xbox 360 discless modification ever since and a lot of people in this country didn't really appreciate it because you know meaning that how to put it this way I am somewhat of a, 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 a quiet person and they think that that was a waste of time so I ended up doing just the drive mods alone for years you know but now it's back so I could actually do what I had to do and that kind of thing. Anyhow, now I am seeing some, and pardon my language because bear in mind, people, this is going to be a very verbal, vid, graphic language, in other words, you know. I am seeing some competitors from. Zero Media, or Solution, from Concept, Emporium, and all these other hole in the wall businesses, um, I am seeing some fucked up work done to the Xbox 360, you know, um, pardon my language, pardon my thing, my wipe in because, um, jewelry is getting smaller so I have to keep on wiping the, the jewel anyhow um I've been seeing some fucked up work lately with Xbox 360 most of the time is that system will only last days sometimes weeks sometimes seconds you know um this is making me look bad because at the end of the day I am a person who believes in original parts. I do not believe in third parties. I do not believe in clones. I do not believe in copies. Right? 
and when you all trying to cut course in doing a particular modification you're putting an embarrassment not just to you but just to me and you have people losing their confidence in the business right now normally I don't really show everybody um, what I use in, in the Xbox 360 and that kind of thing but I'm noticing I've been coming across some clone chips for the Xbox 360 right and a very popular chip that a lot of these guys using out here is a team executor chip called the CR3 Lite or the Cool Runner 3 um, it looks like this basically this is a third party Xbox 360 chip it has the Xilinx logo on it normally the original will have the CR3 this is also a third party by the way but normally you have the CR3 logo it has the Xilinx logo on it normally the originals have curves as you can see it's sharp on the edges and the crystal normally don't have any kind of wooden on it it's shiny but as you can see it's dull and it also says uh, 48 megahertz on the chip right let me tell you other guys something here who in this industry when you're using chips like these you fuck people's system up sideways which in turn to come back to me and I had to redo the entire fuck where you all done right this is getting out of hand right I'll be calling names Gaming Emporium Mr. Din Gonzalez aka Mr. Bazinga man this is not Big Bang Theory motherfucker listen to fucking me right when you claim you're doing this less and you want to claim that you know you're the best in any country and everybody else is, 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 is assholes listen here my little bitch nigga when you're doing work on people xbox make sure you do it fucking good for me please right i don't hate your guts already just the song of your name pisses me off okay now when you use shit like this in people's xboxes performance is poor the quality of the system shortens especially the lifespan and the damaged salt bridges now I cannot be selling salt bridges for every Tom they can hire for every fuckery work you done okay at the end of the day make a, you're, you're making me look bad and not just making me look bad you're making the whole industry look bad right not only that as well this other institution that um, says they're doing this less as well who they're really selling by somebody else gaming solutions the 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 the, the, the aka the, the daniel brothers that he might quabby daniel who the fuck all they really is seriously who the fuck y'all really are y'all can't even sort of flicking cigarette as a, 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 a table that's the little level of stupidity y'all are y'all are absolutely wasting the gaming industry's time now the last video I have done which is what the first, first rant video was very very obscene and big so I'm trying to keep a sense of professionalism here with a still a hint of profanity right but at the end of the day when you do fuckery work like this you making me look bad the person who brings out this particular type of modification for the Xbox 360 right now Shane on the other hand from Zero Media I know for a fact you don't give no shits about this industry anymore all you only care is about that money so you don't care how half ass it looks your mentality is what's it working yeah well news flash motherfucker not all the time your mentality does work right and at the end of the day it's a lot of work for me to actually get back up and running professionally now 
this video is not ready to attack your little scrums because basically all the dominant scrum side. This is a war what is going on in Arima for a long time and it's still going up to this day and, and people are still attacking me left, right and center for um, um, anything for fame and anything for credit. Now, as you all could know, or as you all know, um, I was the technician for game concepts in Arima. Used to do all the Xbox 360 modifications and uh, Wii, Wii modifications, PS2 modifications, whatnot. Same goes for Mr. Richard himself. He was also the owner of Players Dome, and not just the owner of Players Dome. Um, one minute. She got it. All right. Sorry about that. Anyhow, um, he was the one that actually. How to put it in this way? He was the one that did all the dirty work for you. And not just the dirty work as well. You know, he was the one who actually bring all that to the top. But yet, Mr. Renison, Madame Rianda, and family and friends and clip. Well, let's call them the clip now. Y'all had the audacity to go behind Richard's back and my back as well and take over the entire thing and destroyed our names in the gaming industry. Now this isn't happening for years now, right? This isn't happening for years. Renison especially. Y'all took on y'all have taken all my customers away from me. All and I know you're, you're go I know if you're watching this video, I know you real glad because why? Because you 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 wanted to do this for the longest while because you used to come by me and observe everything I do and then all of a sudden you wanted you all of a sudden you just want to jump into it. Right? Now what bothers me the most is that you all come to my shop with Words of velvet. Words of velvet. But your mind, your mind was nothing but broken glass bottles and nails. You all destroyed me to the point where I have literally lost confidence in myself. But you know what kept me up and alive and kicking? The few customers that remain with me. The few customers. Which I'm very, very grateful for. Let me start selling out some files now. Because I know Rihanna and them will be, will, will be watching this and they want to report it to the police and that kind of thing. But at the end of the day, the truth must be, the truth must be told. And if the truth to it hasn't been told, Nobody wouldn't. You know, back then when there was a cafe, the old place in Players Dome, when uh, a nice lady used to be selling um, game, game CDs, like, you know, uh, PC games especially. <coughs> a certain individual, not calling names, but I know the story inside out because I know the individual very good. <clears throat> every day sometimes twice every day I don't want to take this out right let me see, let me see if I can speak out properly now because this is, is kind of distracting anyway. every day one specific individual used to come by that store purchase seven games so seven plus games Now the lady, bear in mind, she just wants, she, she remember this business, so you know, she, she just wants to get a sale. She said, sell the person these seven games. And a couple days later, the man come back again for seven more games. Now, I have been observing that for the longest while. 
And what hurts me the most is that that person comes directly by your store, upstairs by the dial, to hand you these games that this person um, has bought from that said institution. Right? Now, at the end of the day, Rianda, that is what you call backstabbing. It's called backstabbing. Right? This is an honest woman. You are backstabbing. Right? You and Renison. Sit down and watch this video. Because at the end of the day, you all will never like me anymore. And I don't really give two shits about you. Because at the end of the day, fuck all you. Right? Fuck all of all you. Because two of all you is the worst individuals I have ever met in my life. You all stab people in the back. And you all take credit for everything. And at the end of the day, I want to see you all go down. Literally, go down. You all try all kind of things to keep it to keep it up and alive, but let me tell you something. I will make you all go down. Believe me. Because just like what all they do to me and Richard and everybody else, is the same way all of us want to do to you. We want to make you burn in hell. Literally. But anyhow. So push come to shove. Person buying the game from this individual, that kind of thing. So she put two and two together and she make four. And all of a sudden. The lady confront this individual to find out how you could play seven games. How you could play seven games in one or two days. What, yes, yes, fucking God or something? Right? At the end of the day, when that same person sent her next individual to find out what's going on, to purchase games from you all, and she and that person <coughs> went through the game purchased the game <coughs> sorry and go through the computer the cd itself and she see the lady's signature in the the, the, the folders of the games you know what she realized all oh, is nothing but dogs stray dogs that is what y'all are. Stray fucking dogs. Because at the end of the day, everybody trying to make a dollar. Everybody. But there's something which is called originality. And if you're an individual that do not believe in originality, get out of this industry. Dead serious. Get out of it. Okay, only once I have done that, I admitted it, because I know you all going and say I, I have done the same thing to you all. It's only once I have done that. But you know what's the amazing thing? I have never purchased a backup game from you all. I make copies of it. As a matter of fact, I used to actually hand you all my hard drive for you all to transfer the images so at the end of the day I can remove whatever you all put and consider it mine that was once okay that was once until I have been pulled aside by my mentor and he tell you know what he told me he said much let me tell you something see that shit you're doing cut it out he say you're embarrassing yourself and you're embarrassing everybody else in the industry and I took that to heart so I become original. Got my own games. Got my own stuff. But other than that, you know what hurt me the most, especially with you, Mr. Renison? You want to play all quiet and goody goody, as if you never do nothing in life. But yet, you're so deceiving and so manipulative. Tears come up my when I had to mention your name. Because that's the level of hate I have against you. When you and Richard was in business, 
I have heard stories. I have heard stories through the grapevine that, you know, Richard have his suppliers. I know Richard is a man, he don't tell nobody who is his supplier. But you know what bothers me the most? Y'all have the audacity, the cojones, the balls to go behind the poor man back. Behind the man suppliers and make the man lost a, a very very good bi uh, business clientele with him with, with, with the suppliers you all went behind his back I trying to figure out all they want to claim all his children of God which God you all um, serve him which God it can't be the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because I mean at the end of the day I am not seeing nothing concerning Jesus Christ in all you. All I am seeing is heathens, devils, demons with y'all. That what aches me, you know. That what aches me. Yeah. To see y'all doing these kind of things to people, it's, 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 it's ridiculous. Right. She not it. Right? A next thing as well too. I am been constantly being harassed by your followers on my phone asking questions for certain things. And when I check it out, you are from the Arima district. I am I know you are still monitoring me. I know that. Because all I have all the followers asking questions and that kind of thing. And the question they ask me is very technical. And which I just tell them, I do not know. Right? I have seen, I have heard some, some, some customers call me concerning modification. And they want to know what I'm using, what, how I'm doing it, and that kind of stupidness. Um, at the end of the day, I don't really give out that information. Because why? It's out there. It's online. Everybody learns everything online. However, I learn part of it online. Not just learning from it out online. I had to make my technique for it to work. Renison, I said let me tell I said let me tell you something, yeah, Renison. Honestly speaking. There comes a time in life where a man like me had to humble down because I'm getting older. And as you can see I'm bald I'm balding, I have grey hair. I, I, I have heart problems and whatnot. And I had to learn to humble down in life. Right? But there comes a time in life where I have to put my foot down. And this goes to Renison, Rhonda, Colin, Manipulative Quasi, Renison, your child and all involved in it. Including your sister-in-law and everybody else who in the industry as well, including this little dick-sucking bastard called Keston that comes in your institution. There comes a time in life where, when I put my foot down, you all consider me a very big asshole. I will do anything just to get me right back down where I was, so all they could, could do what all they want. Not this wrong, because. If it's a war you want, the war you're going to get. One man against nine people or more. One man against nine people or more. I don't give a fuck how much money you're making in that arcade. I don't give a fuck how much latest game consoles you all have. I don't give a fuck what new stuff you'll get for next to nothing price because I'll tell you something you'll claim to be number one but yet at the end of the day the, the service is number two and then the next thing I have a big issue as well is that now I ain't copyright the 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 nickname which is mods M-O-D-Z I've been observing